Good afternoon, thank you for coming. My name is David Piekarski and uh, I am the Technical Program Manager. I, I am responsible for the SIP certification on Google Cloud and today I will talk to you a little bit more about the SIP on Google Cloud Platform in the context of SUSE, how we are validating, how we are certifying things and the particular challenge that we perceive as a constraint as an opportunity for further development. So I will go briefly through first uh, through the Google Cloud Solutions overview. Then I will discuss briefly about the dependencies within the certification. Third point will be about the optimization challenge that uh, we are struggling and facing on our daily work. And then I will review for few opportunities that we consider at Google as areas that we are already investing in. We are growing further over the time. Okay, so let me start with uh, why SIP on Google on the cloud, so what's specific about what we are offering, what is so unique, and as well why I'm so proud to work in the Google environment. So first, first of all, what we are offering is the simplified deployments. As you might know, Google is offering like fully virtualized environment, right? This is something that is really unique and it provides great value for the customers because whatever you do, it's like you are not only limited to the one location. You can uh, easily migrate between the regions and leverage this for your uh, deployments for the testing environments and uh, making sure that uh, whatever you do, like have uh, all the ways uh, in the backups. So it, as well, the possibility to uh, scale up and scale out your solutions and always adjust uh, what you need. But on top of that, uh, because we are globally present and we are present 20 years of experience within the cloud, we can provide you with, as well like plenty of the templates and the tools that will help you not only to deploy the SIP, but as well to migrate from your on-premises environment. The second aspect that we are really proud of is basically reduce risk. We are offering the out of the shelf best uh, security, the encryptions at any level but as well a very high level of the disaster and recovery and solutions that are providing the high availability. Again, we are leveraging the advantages of the virtual environment when you are basically even starting spin it up your virtual machines, you have to just get to go to have encrypt at any level. So you can easily take this aspect of the stewardship for your implementation. And the third aspect that is worth to mention that basically is just part of the brand name of the Google is the power of the innovation. So we are known for best in class the analytics capability. So the big query, this is something that I would recommend to take a look in because there are really uh, innovative approach that will be offered and you'll be growing in this area for your business and for the aspects and as well uh, as well, the machine learning and artificial intelligence, this is something we are coming in. The clients have the access to all of the tools and the libraries that can be spin and test on the environment. So, this is something that's really unique for the Google and uh, it will be like resembling in the further aspect that I will mention in context in SUSE. So, another aspect that you probably know is we have the uh, SIP solutions that whenever we use, it needs to be always aligned with the SIP uh, and all of the solutions that are available on the market need to be validated by the clients and we are offering the wide portfolio of the products that are ready to run and ready to be tested for the SIT. So as for HANA Business Warehouse, Business Suite, NetWeaver, all of the backgrounds applications that are within the NetWeaver application, uh, Business One and SLT solutions. So, if you want to plan to go through all of those solutions or anything is missing, feel free to reach us out to find the appropriate notes in the SIP documentations as well to enable you within the right approach. Okay, so let's go a little bit more into the core what, uh, what we are offering and GCP offerings is growing over the time. So recently we have just went to the 4, 2 and 1 terabytes for the scale up solution and as you can run the implementations up to 64 for the scale out so that was just announced this one year and we are it. On top of that we are uh, um, cooperating with the Intel on the 
often memo or something that uh, our Intel friends are uh, talking more about in their booths for the 7 terabytes with all of the advantages of this, so this another aspect of innovations. And soon we get a lot of questions about going up with the size because of the need. We will be uh, validating 12 and 6 terabytes uh, very soon for the scale up and then going farther. Right? So that's the pretty uh, regular stuff. We are going up, we are validating big machines. So what this all means, right? What are the plans with that? So we'll be growing in the memory size. We'll be growing the CPU performance and the complexity and the applications, which basically runs the problem like we are following the Moore law uh, and we want to face it. And it has clear constraints on the how we are cooperating with SIP as well, like we are cooperating with SUSE. This is something that we need to not only work, uh, think about how we are doing daily, but as well how we want to foresee it over the next year. Why? Uh, because those three elements need to match. Like, there is a, like, all of the infrastructure layer that is in the background, the products that is giving you the background, and the Linux versions that is basically gluing all of those. And three aspects need to work in sync. If one of those fails at any stage, we are basically done with the delivery of the final results. So what we want to do about it, right? Because there is a basically multiple change that I would this example more within the math problem, basically. So for every virtual machine that we have, like each version of this, so, uh, especially daily basis, and this is core of my work. So basically to ensure that all of these VMs are bulletproof all the versions. Whenever there is a new SUSE version, and we are currently focusing on the SLS 15, we are on it and we need to ensure that it's like bulletproof with all of the three aspects that I mentioned, the security, performance, and, and reliability. And it's the same with the HANA version. Recently, the new version of the service pack has been, service pack three have been released. So uh, we need to make sure that uh, all of those versions are in sync because, as you know, uh, plenty of clients working on the old uh, versions of the SIP. And we want to provide them capability to either migrate or are they upgrade one of those elements. Depends on the challenges that they might facing, either with the security, reliability, all the performance, or whether they, they want to bring the hardware. So how it looks on the daily work basis? It means that over the time, the, we perceive that there is an um, exponential scale on the number of the tests. So what we will see now and within the next two years really is that capacity, our capacity to test is like the manage the complexity that we are facing. It's something that needs to be addressed now. Because, and this is something that we need to share with our partners and SIP and SUSE version uh, with the SUSE uh, new versions because we need to make sure that we have our hands dirty early on uh, to not surprise our client. Because how it looks on the daily basis, like the efforts that we are doing for the given VMs, and those are, those are actual numbers that we have. So we have like one hundred four tests run, which just require one to eight computer uh, computing time for each. So imagine if we are doing this on the one on-premise machines, we'll be simply unable doing this because it will require up to six hundred compute hours just to indeedly test and validate it, right? So there is a slice fifteen, and we need to go through all of this for all of the virtual machines for all of the sub versions that are out there, which result in seven to six working just just to play around with the test. So. We are fighting this challenge on a daily basis, and as you saw the previous slide, we'll be going farther, multiplying it over the next couple of months or years, and we we'll fighting this over the automations and the parallel testing. And the, again, the advantage of going globally with the multi, multi the troubleshoots when you are going uh, sleep in the Europe, there are colleagues from the U.S. taking over the shifts and working on the on the resolving the bug that we are. Uh, facing and as well like to, uh, trying to get the ongoing optimizations. But still, when you will take a look on the uh, on the time uh, spans, you can see that with the, all of the versions, it might take up to one and a half year to uh, combine those three elements. So when we have new virtual machines, new user version like SLES 15, like SLES 15 is there for us on, uh, for some times, and we are 
working on this concept to release it for our clients. Because releasing the Linux version it doesn't mean that it will be just available to install. It needs to be available to install and ready to operate under the business requirements within the HANA version. So the idea and concept that we are working on is basically the preventive testing. This is something that you might know from the manufacturing area. Aria or the Kaizen methodology that we foresee the problems and we resolve them, the things. That's why we are uh, cooperating with SUSE team to get uh, our access to the versions early on. So currently when there is this last 15, we first of all tested the, the, the beta versions and make it available for our machines, uh, for our virtual machines outside of the HANA environment. And when it's validated and tested, then we want to Check it. But we want to do it all in beta, uh, so that whenever HANA version is ready, we'll just uh, provide this for uh, for our clients to migrate, so that they can they migrate it uh, immediately. So that's, this is the all of the background work that needs to be done and uh, provided for our clients to uh, to do to be available. But it's just like the, all of the things that are happening on the background. On top of that, that all of the innovation, like those are the foundations. So you have the opportunity to look a little bit of behind of the, uh, the scene and uh, see like the challenges that we might have. But on top of that, this, this as a foundation will build the farthest aspects of op uh, optimizing the solutions that you will see as a client in the future. And probably some of the things that you can see and. Uh, already saw the proposal on the beta version that we are operating as to, to in order to make the most efficient uh, we want to like tackle those basics with our friends from SUSE. So first of all the things that I have already mentioned leverage the uh, competitive advantage of Google for the Google scaling. So uh, we want to make sure that whenever you want to uh, install the new SUSE versions whenever this available you as a client or as a or a co-developer partner you will be able to Tested with multi regions when the capacity is available for you to making experiments, tested how it works for you. So give us the early feedback if something's going wrong and we can resolve it quickly as well as you. So uh, we could, like, in case of the new uh, innovation projects that involve the new security layers, we could, uh, do, we will not be limited to a given location or premises location. Second aspect, something that I have seen SUSE playing a bigger role, especially recently uh, offering the predefined architectures. On the Google Marketplace, you can find the uh, SUSE offerings, uh, the already predefined set for the single tenant uh, HANA version, something that you can make for your test. The documentation is out there, just so you can do it with the couple eyes, just implement your own HANA version, just see how it works for you, either for the production, for testing for purposes, but as well for the training need. It's uh, pretty easy and it's really like uh, done step by step, so uh, implementing those uh, can be really helpful and you can test the again, new versions of uh, the SSL version with the just recent HANA. Uh, just, uh, just test how the archi given architecture works and just make some stress tests that is required for your business. Multi-zone backup solutions, this is something that if you are uh, working on the high level, so high, level, high availability uh, solutions is something that is critical and something that has been offered just recently with plentiful aspects of backing up with different zones uh, and uh, from the different, different uh, backup uh, restore time and like we are talking not only on the high level in terms of the of the backups but as well like uh, recovery out of healings not only by the way for HANA but as well for the other solution as well especially with the managed instance groups in the architecture the auto healing is something that is uh, quite heavily developed recently and again the preventive uh, testing and like uh, ensuring that the failures are pre prevented uh, ahead of time, this is something uh, is, that is seen, and is all trying to spin up the machines as an alternative uh, for your production environment to make sure that we are always up and we are uh, really uh, going to this direction long time. Optimized pricing, this is something that I have not mentioned, but this is one of the key advantages of using like Whenever you are doing any experiment or test, this is something that you will always pay for what you are using. You are not. Uh, buying huge machines, especially for the uh, testing purposes. Our plenty of, full of our clients have been contacting us to just make the release available, uh, make the available the beta ver uh, versions of uh, all some of our machines or taking part in the co-innovate 
like with the Intel Optane, uh, uh, co-innovate the, the products and test how it looks for them to be always on the edge of the market. And it's always paid but what you are using. So even for the smart training mentioned the predefined architecture, just spin it, just kill it within the one day, use the, some predefined machines. This is something that I have personally tested a couple of times. It's really nice, easy, easy really easy and uh, very uh, friendly for uh, even the beginner users to test it. And the final aspect, authorities and the system update. This is something that we are heading for. Despite growing in the size and the number of testing, this is something that we would like to see everything just to happen without uh, our uh, clients' interference of users. So for example, when you just says, I want to use last 15 version, will be already offering the, um, the solutions out of the shelf, but it will just seamlessly integrate within your system, uh, always ready to uh, to migrate and automatically upgrade for your system. So those are the directions that in future will be fine-tuning and over the time we intend to make them just uh, better and easier for uh, uh, easy easy to use for our clients. So I hope you enjoy a little bit of the sneak uh, uh, look on how we are going all of the uh, back end and all of the cuts that we are working on. We put all of the efforts to make it uh, available for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach me out. I will stay here for the next 15 minutes. So thank you very much for All right. Time. Let's give Darwin a big hand. Darwin, don't leave. We need your help. We're going to give away a couple of SUSE backpacks. But first awesome. of all, thank awesome. you for coming to our booth and doing this. We really appreciate having you here. Could you reach in and grab a number? On your chair that you're sitting on is a number down at the bottom by your feet. 